Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Foundation. You know, I was looking at our village here. Let's get the clock running so stuff will happen while I talk. I was looking at our village here and I was like, why in the world did I buy this hex over here? We haven't even come close to touching it, but whatever, we own it. Um, I did see one good thing is it does have some berries down here in the corner. So, I mean, there's that. I don't know if these berries are ever going to run out, but I guess as we expand, we could set up like another little village down here. Might even be worthwhile setting up a woodcutter over here maybe and using them to clear out or even like set up a woodcutter down in here and uh, using them to clear out some of that area. Uh, wow. How, I, how does the weekly profit thing uh, factor? <laughs> I don't quite, don't quite get that. Um, but it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. How does that sound? Um, two new villagers. Great. We're continuing to get more villagers. I like that. More the merrier. Um, we do need bread, right? But we should be making bread soon. That's right. We need to get that thing going before we can start making bread. And then once we have bread, probably want to build our church. What do we have our zoning stuff set up for here? All right, so we do still have more residential area set up. I could even expand this a little bit to be residential, although that's still red. And yeah, we pretty much have all the residential area set up. I might put our church over here. I don't know why that's red for residential stuff, but if it's bad for residences, it might be good for churches. Time will tell. Got uh, plenty of money in the bank, so I don't really need to worry. Our bakery is coming along. Looks like we have all the materials needed. There we go. Now we have a bakery. A bakery. Yes, I said that right. And now we have a baker as well. Thank you. A villager is upgrading his house, or a village is upgrading his house. I'm not thinking that it's supposed to be villager. Don't be such a pedantic jerk, Sean. There's no need to be rude about it. Um... Does not... Oh, there we go. We have 29 wheat. So we have plenty of wheat stored. Probably more than we're going to need. I bet you I could lay off one of those workers. I'm going to wait until everything is harvested. And then I probably will lay off a worker. Down here, we're doing fine. How are we doing on planks? Oh my gosh, we have so many planks. I could lay off a worker from our sawmill as well. And probably lay off a worker from our woodcutter camp. Although we don't have a ton of logs. Um... More villagers. That's good news, I think. Not entirely sure. What do these guys do when they don't, like when there's no real jobs to be done? Let's um, take a look at our villager list. No job, no job, no job, no job. Right, so that's what they do. They don't have jobs. Can't they be like uh, transporters? Wouldn't that make sense? I bet you they do become transporters, and I just don't don't have the details um also i would like to i don't quite get how the the trading what do i have our trading thing set to okay so i so i think we just trade up to 20 on the uh on the tools so we shouldn't get any more in until i actually use some but I will be using some because we're going to start building that church now. Let's see. Build public buildings. Church. So we have a church core. It's like an apple core, but uh, holy. There we go. So we'll put that. Mm, that's right. I can, I can adjust the facing of it too. Let's go ahead and put it like right there. And then we need a door. Plunk. Well, you would think that that would be the perfect spot for it. it. would be like on that thingy, but I guess not. Hmm. Where can I place this door? Okay. Weird. That's right where I wanted it. All right. Um, so a tower doesn't really do anything. A door already did that one. Extension A, extension B, extension C. A cross... Gives estate influence. Gargoyle. Stained glass. We don't have any glass. Arc core and a fountain. All right. So we'll do ourselves a gargoyle. And, uh, well, what if I want it on the front? There we go. 
Put it right there, great. So that should be enough to start construction. We'll get this thing going. It's just gonna require stone and wood. So it should be pretty fast to build. Now, if I wanna add on to this one, there you go, edit. A Lord House Core would give us additional influence. Extension influence. I can increase our treasury again. Don't really need to do that right now. Chimney. Aha. Lord Banner gives us whatever this other kind of influence is. So, what do these mean? Oh, okay. Coming soon. That's what they mean. So, not really all that important to have on here, honestly. But, let's go ahead and get ourselves some Lord influence. Why not? We'll do a Lord Banner. Oh, and it only costs money, so that's even more hmm. just need to find a way to install it um, where did you install that can I just install it anywhere I want to put it up on the top but I guess we could put it here there we go okay and I'm going to do a um, chimney I guess okay well yeah that's fine all right start construction very good it's gonna be easy Lord Banner's done it just cost us money and now we have we should have one fealty coming in before too long and then of course our church well they got that gargoyle done he's up there keeping keeping an eye on things so, you know they do have wings so Makes sense. Nothing unusual about that. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, we are running very short on berries. That has um, really caught me by surprise. And we have all the workers assigned. So I was talking about these berries down here before, wasn't I? Let's make that a reality. Berry gatherer. Gathering camp right here. And, um, oh, weird. What is, what is the little uh, thing there for? You know what? I guess we'll find out over time. And that means I want to paint it black, or paint it blue in this case. There we go. Extraction. Good stuff. All right. We're going to clear out that spot just for the heck of it. And maybe that one, too. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. I would still like to get this area cleared out so we can, uh, whoops, so we can uh, expand our living area over into there. And our farmland uh, must be between seasons. We're going to go ahead and, well, you know what? We don't need to lay off a farmer. I do not want to, can I unfire you? Dang it. That, hmm. I don't even understand. No. I Oh, for crying out loud. Now I can't tell whether they're working here or not. Okay, they... No, Isabella, you should not be working there. But I want the one who's a level one to be working there. Dang it. Oh, well, you know what? We have too much wheat. I don't really need anybody working there. All right, we have completed our church, which is good. Quest complete, build a church. Building complete, church. Great, and that got us 50 piety. So, yay. Yay for us. Um, have we completed our gathering hut? We have not. That's going to take a little time, so we're going to click on the fast forward button and uh, see how that goes. Somebody will come running down this hill because we are very short on berries and uh, people probably are not happy about that. So we'll get this built. We will fill it up with berry pickers. Two new villagers. That's going to put further um, demands on our food supply. So we'll get those going down here. Great. Let's uh, slow it down a little bit and I'm going to open up the resource panel. So we have plenty of of food, of bread. I hope that... Oh, and we do have some glass somehow. So I hope that they will eat bread when we run out of berries. 
that these guys are going to come pick berries, and then I assume workers will come and gather the berries and take them to the market, or these guys will, which is fine. Oh, well, it's a long walk. Boy, it is really a long walk. You know, but that's just how it goes. So I'll probably want to buy this land segment. Or do I need to own the area where they're walking? Probably not. We are up to... Oh, we are down to uh, 61 happiness. Ah, that's right. I need to build a bread shop. Bread shop market bread. Almost forgot about that. Let's go ahead and put that in our city center here. We should have enough room for it, like right here. There we go. Maybe? Didn't really leave a little footprint. But somebody's banging a hammer there, so we must be building it. That's good. I almost clicked it down again, and we would have had to have two of them. I don't know that that would have been a disaster or anything. Um, do I need a second gathering market? You know what? Don't ask, just do. There we go, we'll put one right there. Save these guys a little bit of a walk. Not much, but some. And... I mean, I guess I could assign another little guy to be a builder. Where's our population menu? Yeah, because we've got a bunch of people that have no job, so builder it is. All right, and he is... Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Now he's going to fetch some resource. Let's hire ourselves a bread marketer. Great. That will make people happy again. And what do we have for our next building here? Well, we need... We need villagers. Hmm. How do we get villagers? Is that a matter of them promoting their homes? It certainly could be. So, now that they're getting bread... Aha, a village is upgrading his house. House level 3. Henry is bringing 10. Oh, no, this looks like a new home. I don't know how that's considered an upgrade. Hmm. Maybe, um... I don't know. Who knows? Let's keep an eye. Wow. Everybody is upgrading their house. And we've reached a new status. Villager. Great. The, none of these houses look any different than the others, though. Oh, okay. So they do, like... Wow. They really upgrade their homes. When they sit around the house, they sit around the house. Okay. So now we have a sheep farm, which produces wool. A weaver hut, which produces shirts, and a road sign. End of sentence. You know what? Let's put a road sign. About right here. The center of town. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do a sheep farm. And we'll put that over here. And we're going to do a weaver's hut. And we'll put that... You know what? Let's put that over here. It doesn't need to be over by the sheep farm necessarily. But our town is undergoing a dramatic um, transformation. Look at these beautiful new homes. House level three. People are going to get their shirts and whatnot. Soon we'll find out what a forester camp is. Now, it doesn't look like we need a market for shirts. I don't see any shirt market. Wow, all of our homes are being upgraded. Thankfully, we had a huge amount of, um, of uh, planks available, and quite a bit of stone, too. But one thing we don't have available is somebody working in this building, but now we do. And that'll help. Should help get our berries redistributed. Look at that. We're up to uh, 17 berries, so our berry shortage is a thing of the past. Might take these guys a little while to overcome. You can see the berry number is dropping and the bread number is dropping. So we were we were running short on those things, but luckily we've resolved that problem. 
one new building unlocked. Well, there's only one building left. And it's the forester camp. And what do they do? Plant trees? I don't need trees planted. I need trees cut down, if anything. And really, I don't need that because we, we've got plenty of logs. Well, we've got plenty of planks. Maybe not enough logs, honestly. But I would like to get more... Well, I guess if, if I want to get more trees cut down, then I would build another forester or another uh, uh, woodcutter camp. So you know what? Stop hemming and hawing and do it. Just do it. Let's build it down here. So we can clear, clear this stuff out. Right here, maybe? There we go. Oh, so beautiful. I love this. I love my little village. It's quaint. They didn't quite build the houses where I wanted them to, but you know, it's not up to me, is it? It's up to them. They decide where they want to live. And we still only have 30 population. My goodness. Seems like we should have way more people than that for the, the bustling economy that we have going on here. Do we only have one? We only have Juliet working here, but that's okay because we have so much wheat. Plenty of flour. How are we doing on bread? I guess we can just look over here. So we don't, we aren't keeping up on bread. So I guess I need another bakery. So let's, uh, let's do that. Bakery. And we'll just place that. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not right here? And probably are going to need another mill eventually, but right now we'll stick with the mill. Hey, look at that. Reach a weekly profit of 500. So far, 572. Great. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Oh, wait. Why did we not get our reward? Ah, it doesn't matter. The reward is meaningless anyways. The only thing it would do is just make me feel good for once in my life. God forbid that ever happens. Uh, uh, hey, is that the stone that we were going to try to gather earlier? Hmm. Well, I mean, they're doing a good job of gathering it from over here. But we are running short. Do I need a second stone cutter? We do. We do need a second stone cutter. All right. Very good. That joke is extraordinarily old, but I bet you most people will still get it. That's the staying power of that joke. Well, not really a joke, more of a reference, but you get what I'm saying. Now, can I pri I can't prioritize in this game. Oh, yes I can. There we go. High priority. Let's make that not farmland. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. We're going to uh, make the thing smaller. And we're going to make that not farmland. There we are. But it definitely is extraction land, and it looks like it's still blue, so that's fine. Okay. Great. We'll get our stonecutter camp built. We've got more people coming in. Got our new woodcutter thing going on down here. How are we doing on population? Still have one, two, three, four, five unemployed little serfs or whatever people but we've got a bunch of buildings under construction so I don't want to get too carried away here I do want to get a nice uh, screenshot for our cover there we go maybe an alternate one like that yeah, we'll see which one I like better. You will know because you've probably already seen the cover to this. But like we'll have the the windmill here and the word foundation across here. So this time you can actually see most of the town. A lot of times on the cover for this, the thumbnail, the, the windmill does block some of the more interesting parts of the town. Oh, wow. We can really get in close there. Let's uh, see. Watch everybody. Oh, whoa. that guy looks really intense. He's like, hey, I'm going to get me some berries. I love berries. Oh, whoa. Too disorienting. Okay, sorry, guys. I, that's just too much. 
I can't get that close in. Two new villagers. Is there a way to see the... No. Uh, how are we doing on happiness? Still lacking in berries again. Wow, really? So I guess I need another berry gatherer down here. We haven't, like, cleared out the berries from up here, have we? No. All right. Well, let's, uh, I mean, it's pretty easy to solve that problem. We just do gathering camp. I mean, it makes sense, because it's pretty far to get down here. And up here, or up here, down here, I need to paint around here so they gather up some of these trees. With this wood cutting camp. And I mean, we may as well clear all along the pathway there. I guess they can't go up that cliff. Villager is upgrading his house. I have to assume that they're upgrading the. Oh, okay, so they start at the lowest level and then slowly upgrade them to the higher levels. All right, we have completed a weaver hut. Isabella is working there. I believe she worked at the farm for a brief period. Uh, we also need to assign someone to our new gathering camp. So there we go. Up to five people at the stone cutting camp? Really? Wow. I didn't know that. We definitely could have kept our employment up with stuff like that. Let's get that thing built. Um, we have uh, we have three unemployed people now. Oh, oh, hey, stop. Enough of that, please. Looks like this is done. So we're going to assign available worker. Get. Okay, okay, calm down. Gatherer could not find resources in zone extraction. Well, let me see the warning again. Oh, hmm. Um, is that the farm, the sheep farm? Do they need to extract? Now I'm a little confused. All right, so now we have two sheep. I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to see what happens. Well, there we go. We'll leave that like it is. Great. I've seen ridiculous amounts of sheep in some screenshots and stuff, so I don't want to go crazy. Uh, do I need to paint this to be extraction? Well, it is. No, nope, it's not. Let's paint it to be extraction, and we'll see if that resolves that issue. It could be the, the sheep is our problem. And look at that. So reforestation is, that's probably what the forestry hut is for. But we don't really need that. We've got, I, like, I want to clear land. I don't really want to have more trees planted at this time. Got people working here. I believe we've got people working at all of our little shops and whatnot. We are increasing our number of berries. Slowly increasing our number of stone, but we're uh, doing major construction right now throughout the throughout the village. And it's a good time to end the episode. So, hey guys, I'd say things are going pretty good for us. We have managed to build one of everything except for the the forester thing, which doesn't really matter. But I, I'm having so much fun. I don't want to stop. I like growing big cities and just having a good time with that. So uh, if you guys are going to keep watching, I will keep playing. Unless like some ridiculous, new, exciting new game comes out. Or more likely, they update this. Because they've been updating this a lot. Quite frequently, actually. Um, if they update this to the point where save games no longer work, well, obviously we wouldn't be able to continue at that point. And uh, you never know. That could happen, especially with my new light recording schedule. Might be five days until I record again. Uh, but you don't need to know all those details. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you again. If you've enjoyed this, click that like button and leave me a comment. I always want to hear from you. I will see you next time. Bye.